solve the volume of geometric shapes. The stator you'll use is mcc8.g.9. Know the formulas for the volume of cones, cylinders, and spheres, and use them to solve real-world and mathematical problems. The vocabulary you'll use is formula and volume. Formula is a special type of equation that shows the relationship between different variables. And volume is the amount of three-dimensional space that an object occupies. This is also known as capacity. Our first problem today is going to be trying to find the volume of a sphere. The formula that you'll use is right over there. So first we're going to use a sphere. So the formula is V equals four-thirds pi r cubed. So we're going to fill in our formula. So we have, we still have four-thirds, 3.14 times four cubed. So four times four gives you 16 times four again gives you 24, you bring the 2 over, and it gives you 64. So you now have 4 thirds times 3.14 times 64. So we're going to multiply 3.14 by 64. So 4 times 4 is 16, you bring your 1 over, and 4 times 1 gives you 4, plus 1 gives you 5. And 4 times 3 gives you 12. Alright, so 6 times 4 gives you 24. You bring the 2. 6 times 1 gives you 6. Plus 2 gives you 8. And 6 times 3 gives you 18. You add it all up. You count your decimal places and you have 2, so you bring it over. So your answer is 296. So you now have 296 times 4 thirds. So you can multiply 296 by 4. 6 times 4 gives you 24. You bring your 2 over. 4 times 9 gives you 36. Plus 2 gives you 38. Bring your 3 over. 4 times 0 gives you 0. Plus 3 gives you 3. 4 times 0 gives you 0. And 4 times 2 gives you 8. Catch decimal places. You have 2. Bring it over. So your answer is 803.84. And now you got to divide it by 3. So 3 can go into 8 2 times, and that gives you 6. 8 minus 6 gives you 2. Bring your 0 down. It gives you 20. You can go into 20 6 times, and that gives you 18. 20 minus 18 gives you 2. And then you bring down your 3. You can go, 3 can go into 23 7 times, and that gives you 21. Get 2. You bring down your 8, and it can go to 28 9 times, that gives you 27, so you get 1, you bring down your 4, and 3 can go into 14, 4 times, and that gives you 12, and you get 2, you add a 0, bring down your 20, you can go to 26 times, and that gives you 18. You can stop right there and round to your hundredths. So six will make four go up to a five. So the volume of your sphere is 267.95 inches cubed. Our second problem is going to be trying to find the volume of a cone. The formula you'll use is V equals one third pi r squared times half. So first you must fill in your formula. So you have one third times three point one four 
times 2 centimeter 2 squared times 4. So 2 squared equal, which is 2 times 2, to give you 4. And you can go ahead and multiply your, rad your radius squared by your height, which gives you 4 times 4, gives you 16. So you now have 1 third times 3.14 times 16. So we're going to come over here and multiply 3.14 by 16. 6 times 4 gives you 24. You bring your 2 over. And 6 times 1 gives you 6 plus 2, which gives you 8. And 6 times 3 gives you 18. You bring your 0 down. 1 times 4 gives you 4. 1 times 1 gives you 1. And 1 times 3 gives you 3. Got them all up. And that gives you 5,024. You count your decimal places. You bring it over two times. So your answer is 50.24. So now that you've done that, that's all. And with band one-thirds, you can just you can fit your 50.24 into one spot and you can just divide it by three. So Three can go into five one time. Give you two. Bring down your zero. Three can go into twenty six times, which gives you eighteen. Which gives you two. Bring down your two. And three can go into twenty two seven times, which gives you twenty one. You get one, bring down your four, and three and go into fourteen, four times, which gives you twelve, and that gives you a two. You bring over your zero, you bring it down, and that gives you twenty, and three and go into twenty six times, and you can stop right there and round to your nearest hundred. So six will make four go up to a five. So your volume is 16.75 centimeters cubed. For our third example, we're going to learn how to find the volume of a cylinder. The formula you'll use is V equals pi r squared times height. So you fill in your formula, so you'll have 3.14 times 3 squared times 6. So 3 squared, I do 3 times 3, you get 9. So now you have 3.14 times 9 times 6. And 9 times 6 equals 54. So now you will multiply 3.14 by 54. Four times four gives you sixteen. You bring your one over. Four times one gives you four. Plus one gives you five. And four times three gives you twelve. You mark that out. And five times four gives you twenty. You bring your two over. Five times one gives you five. Plus two gives you seven. And five times three gives you fifteen. You add that up. And then you count your decimal places. There's only two of them, so you bring it over two places. And your answer is 169.56. And you can go ahead and round it to the nearest unit. So this will make this go to 6, and this will make this go to 170. So your volume equals 170 inches cubed. And that's your answer.